this is part two of basketball. Welcome back, everyone. So we do have some animals over here. There was a bunny over there, but he just ran off. Anyways, we are done with the foraging, as you saw in the last video. Anyways, this basketball part two is we're out by the road, not by the house anymore. Um, we are going to be teaching y'all in this. So, like I said in the forging video, be, whose house? Oh, anyways, the mechanical genius Steve house and Aunt Connie's. So now, but like uh, you said in the foraging video, we can. You have to be careful. You have to have an adult beside you. So Even you if it's just Homer. Yeah. So if you have a, um, my cameraman, uh, Homer, is here with me and he's my cameraman. So now I'm going to start my own video or vlog as they say. Um, this is going to be about basketball. As you can see here it's kind of raining, but it's fine. So now all we got to do is start. So be very careful with this guys. Even if it's just an adult, you have to be very careful. So the first thing we are going I'm going to teach you is try oh and there are some safety tips you got to take. I'm going to say those out now. So first thing is leave a like and subscribe on my video and also be so okay first tips for number one tip never ever go out in the streets when you're playing basketball especially when cars are out very serious stuff and also don't ever let your basketball out of your hand because you never know it might go out on the street I have a question miss sonny Yes, Homer. How do you dribble without letting it out of your hands? So the easiest way to do that is you got to let it go and you've got to keep an eye on it. I see. If, if you... Does it matter your right calls, eye or your left eye? It doesn't matter. Okay, just so one eye. if someone calls your name and you leave your basketball alone, it might either get stolen or it might roll away. Both would be very bad outcomes, wouldn't they? Yes. So number three, we cannot be without, if it's like raining or lightning storm and you're by, out by a tree, that is very dangerous. Because if it's raining like this, you have to go straight inside and no more playing. Because it will be very dangerous if there's lightning or thunder. Ah, but we don't have any lightning or thunder today. No, this is just a light Just a sprinkle. nice, gentle, drizzle yeah. rain. Yes. So, as you all know, that we are having only five safety tips. Number four. To do basketball, you have to be careful around a hoop if it's very, very old. Because there is a basketball hoop way next door. And you've got to be very careful because you may never know if someone might kidnap you or doing something. you got to have their permission to be on their land or property. It's very, very safe. So is that four and five, be careful with old hoops. Uh, and five, get permission if you're on somebody no, else's no, private. No. They're all one. Four is only one. So number five, so if there is like a person out here walking and either it's either your aunt or your uncle, um, be very careful not to bump into them, either a stranger or something, and you let go of your ball. It might roll out into the grass and also the road. So be very careful. Okay, off, off of the tips, now on to the play. So the first thing you might want to do is I call this the basketball loop. So here I'll show you. See, that's very careful. Some people have to almost tip over and they might fall or scrape their knee. I have 
been practicing this ever since I got this basketball. Oh. Now, you might not want to do that because you don't know if you're going to fall over off your basketball. I miss that with the camera. Can you do it again? Yes. So I did this and I uh, almost stepped on it and it rolled over in the grass. I see. Sorry, bad camera work on my part. No, it's good. Anyways. So if you do that, you might not want to do it ever again because you will trip or fall. As you all saw, I almost fell over my basketball. So don't do that because that would be very dangerous, especially when there's a stranger around. So here's what I do. If your basketball goes low when you do that, just make sure whenever it bounces like that, just hit it and it's good. So the basketball loop, don't step on the basketball or you might trip and yep. fall. So here's the second one. Second Throwing trip. Throwing it over or in the hoop. I've done it four or five times now back at school. Wow. In the gym, it's pretty easy to do it because they got mechanicals on it. Yeah. Hey, cameraman, would you mind going over here? Because, oh look, there's a dog over there. I've seen this dog before because... You have? Yes. And also, I will be doing a veterinarian one. Anyways, we're done with basketball. On to veterinarian. On to veterinarian. All I know about dogs is they have some common sense. Some common sense. They do... A lot of dogs have very sweet possibilities. Yeah. I met that dog over there one day whenever this man over there was walking her. I see. She's a very cute dog, and anyways. It's the same man walking it? Yep. You sure they didn't swap dogs or something? No. No. I recognize that dog. Do you think those common sense of those dogs, so they got together and said, hey, I like your owner better. Do you like mine? Let's swap them out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I mean, oh, hold on. Oh, a beautiful flower. Cameraman, have it. Aw, shucks. <laughs> so, the other thing about dogs is mostly, I'm doing my own video, but I haven't shared them yet. So, this is basketball part two plus veterinarian. So, right. let's take a walk around here. All right. So, as you can see, there are lots of houses. Now I learned something, and this was early in your YouTube career, and I thank you very much for helping out Peace of Eden. And I kind of let you get off the subject, but one of the things I've heard is you're supposed to keep a single topic, yeah. like basketball, part two, in each Anyways. of your videos. So maybe we ought to wrap up the basketball video well, and worrying good. about veterinarian and then, and then later. That's good, but anyways, so, Okay, what was I about to talk? <laughs> I lose it. You were going to go tell me something down there about yes. veterinarian and then and then and then and, and I kind of held you back. Okay, um, never mind, come on, let's go. All right.